A lot of people are issued work cell phones these days, but some are actually ditching their personal phones to save money. As 27 First News this morning, reporter Nathan Lahoda is here now to tell us the money they save, though, might not be worth the personal headache. Nate? Dan, if you think Hillary Clinton is the only one who can get in trouble mixing personal and business emails, think again. If your employer issues you a cell phone, consider everything on it fair game. Here's the real question. Do you use your work-issued cell phone as your own personal device? Well, many employees don't want to pay for or carry a second phone. A cell phone plan can cost upwards of $1,000 a year. So many people use their work phone for personal emails, photos, and social media. Just be warned that your company may have access to all of it. You may be thinking, so what? But consider this. All of your online searches could be tracked. Any financial transactions you make, personal texts you send, or items you post on social media may be monitored. Also consider that some companies have the ability to wipe your data completely. This usually happens if an employee leaves the company or if the phone is lost. Nonetheless, back up all personal items if you store them on the company phone. So if you are considering saving money by switching your phone to your work phone only, make sure to read your company's policy on cell phones and privacy. Now, depending upon what kind of info you share via text, social media, or email, you may want to just keep a personal cell phone and use your work phone for business and your personal phone for play. Dan? Thanks, Nate. That's good advice there.